What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a jungle spline biome using the new procedural content generation plugin. I already made a basics video on it, so if you want to go ahead and check it out, it will be in the first link in the description. And also if you want to check out the tropical rainforest pack, check out the link in the description. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that you have to make sure, of course, is that you have the plugin enabled. So let's go ahead and search for uh, procedural if I know how to you know, spell it correctly. There we go, procedural content generation framework. Just go ahead and tick that, and then you have to restart the editor. Um, and then what we want to do is go into the content browser, just right click and create a new PCG graph. Let's go ahead and just name this uh, PCG um, spline, underscore spline, right? Uh, with not two Gs, okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and open this up. So, like I just uh, mentioned in the intro, I have already made a tutorial about this covering the basics um, and really how to start with the graph. So, if probably you're a bit confused and you have a touch PCG, I should, you know, suggest going ahead and checking out uh, the video out too. Anyway, so the first thing that we need is basically a spline, uh, get spline data. So, we are not going to be using normal input, we're going to be using a different type of input to get our splines. Now, what to do is go into the details panel and just go and search the uh, basic change the actor filter from self to um, old world actors. And then we want to search by tag. And this tag will be, for example, uh, spline biome. So basically, uh, we'll be able to just drag in our splines as another actor and it will automatically de detect them uh, depending if they have this uh, tag. Let's go ahead and you select a uh, multiple, take that on just in case you want to uh, you know, add multiple ones in the future. So now it's time to go, I'm just going to rename this it's, uh, because I have uh, the uppercase P, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and just create a new uh, blueprint class, it's going to be an actor, and it's going to be the BP underscore spline biome. Again, the P, come on, spline biome. So this is the actor itself. So what I want to do here is add a spline component from utility, there we go hit enter and then what we want to do is go here and say closed loop so it will go ahead and close the loop as an area we don't want it to be like a path it's gonna be like a whole area you will see what I mean in a second now what to do now is go into class defaults and then on the details panel search for tag and then here we want to add a new actor tag and this will be the spline biome it has to be exactly the same as where we said in here so we want to just copy and paste it do so just in case uh, because it has to be exactly the same and make sure it's the tag actor in class defaults not the component tag if you search selected the spline okay it has to be from the, the uh, class defaults all right so now we can go ahead and close this and just make sure that i compile and what we want to do is go and get the pcg uh, pcg spline and just drag it into the scene yes i don't know why that colors appears like they have a party but i don't know in my 5.2 version this is happening but it's in preview so <laughs> don't worry all right, so this is going to be our zone, as you can, um, you, you, you may know. And then just go and select generate. So it will just boot it up, basically. Now, what I want to do is get the spline biome, just drag it. And of course, it has to be inside the area. If not, they will not spawn. So it always has to be inside the area. And now what I want to do is start selecting our first point. And now if we hold out, left out, and you drag in, we can start creating new points. So let's go ahead and do so. Let me just move this point here. As you can see, this is what I meant by um, closing the loop. If I go into the spline and disable closed loop, you can see that will not finish off closing it. So it's like a path instead of, if I take it, an area. You see what I mean? All right, so let's go ahead and just start you know, putting the area that we want to spawn our trees on. Kind of like this, you know, something quick. You can put more in time to make the shapes that you like. Um, but this is what I'm going for. Great, so now of course we are not seeing anything, so let's go ahead and spawn some points. So what we can do is get from the spline data, make a spline sampler. And now we can start plotting some points. Now, what we have to do is go into the dimension and change it from on spline to interior. Because we want to spawn in the interior, of course. And now what we can do is right click in the node and go and enable debug. So now this will make sure that we can start previewing our um, points. Now, right now, it, they're very big and only one density, that's why it's like a lot of boxes 
uh, all around the place and we don't want that we want to make it a bit smaller so we can see a bit better what we're doing so let's get the output node and then do a transform points node and now what we can do is change the uh, location rotation and scale let's go into scale and put the minimum to be 0.3 and the maximum uh, let's say 0.5 now make sure that you have the log on so we change all the axes let's go back here and uh, we'll have to do now is select this and right click and disable debug and select it and debug the next node there's a shortcut for this there's just d so just press d in your keyboard and now it will just preview this so remember if you do a change it's like it didn't update maybe it's because you're not previewing the latest node all right so now you can see that we have this over here let's go ahead and make it a bit more random like the rotation a bit of offset so it's not like straight lines just in there like an army uh, so let's go ahead and select the transform uh, points node and first of all let's make the um, max scale 0 0.7 so it's uh, more of a difference in variety and then in rotation let's go in minimum and add um just actually in maximum just uh, 360 uh and basically in the max so now in the set exits now they will just randomly uh, be rotated as you can see okay so yes in the set axis of course i mean you can add a bit on the let's say here 10 uh, 15 well, actually use 5 15 and then three and uh and seven and then we just make them a bit like wonkier as you can see maybe it's good maybe it's not so good maybe yeah maybe three and seven for both is better that's a bit better so it's just a bit you know a tiny touch uh let's go ahead and save this pcg uh, underscore uh, spline and save the <coughs> the map um great uh, you can see how this is working so another thing that we can do is add some offsets so for example in the x axis we can add like 15 and, and between 15 and 25 and then this one maybe in between uh, what we do? uh 20 and uh, 25 maybe it's too much maybe it's too low let's experiment that's pretty good As you can see now it's just a bit more random and of course when we are trees it will be even less noticeable because i mean there are trees and not boxes so they're bigger and it's hard to see the repetition of that right um okay so now we can go ahead and continue on so now it is actually time to go and start spawning our static mesh in this case our trees let's go ahead and do so so go into the transform point drag it and what we'll do is make a static mesh spawner node and on here we're going to do is start adding our entries so if you can see here we have the mesh entries so here we can just add a new one and now here it's going to put our mesh in our case, I'm gonna get it from the pack, all right, from the tropical pack. So I guess, um, again, uh, the main forest pack will be linked in the description in case you want to check it out. Uh, so now let's go ahead and you start, for example, this coconut tree, just put it over there. And then if I go out, you can see that we are having the coconut tree. <laughs> and we have a different scales, as you can see, and so on. Now there are a lot of them. So what we're going to do, so first of all, uh, actually we can leave the debug as you can see for the positions as, as we work. Uh, but let's go into the spine sampler and what we can do is increase the interior sampling spacing to, I don't know, 200 maybe. We need to experiment with this, but now there we go. It's a bit less. As you can see, it's just making it, um, making more space in between them. So they're less basically in this area. Let's go ahead and just start adding more entries. So for example, we can add another one. In this case, let's say it's going to be this banana tree over here. Let's add it and then let's add another uh, tree over here. Let's say it's going to be, I don't know, uh, this forest one over here. <clears throat> let's uh, put it here. Uh, and now if we see this, you can see that we're starting to get more variety, as you can see, in our jungle. Um, another thing that we can do <clears throat> is go and start adding uh, maybe even bigger trees. So what we can do is get this huge one and drag it in. Now, of course, what we want to do is basically have... Uh, certain trees with more density and others with less so what we can do is put the weight to be i think we can put decimals no we can't okay so what to do is in the other trees put it to be two um two and then two but leave the last one as one so the other ones uh well zero i think it will not spawn maybe uh so let's put a one but the other ones in two so we'll have a higher density now still, uh, maybe it's too big, maybe it's too small, maybe it's too many trees, and we can increase a bit the, the spline point, so 250 maybe, and this just depends on what you're looking for. 
Let's go into transform points, press D, and now we can just get this out. And now we start to get a better uh, understanding of how it is looking, basically. Uh, let's set the peachy spline, and in scale with lux, let's put this at 100. So it's like bigger the area, and we can just get our spline and start moving it. So we are already ending with a pretty cool result. You know, can go ahead and come on. I need to enter the area, okay? Uh, select. Oh, this is not a point. This is a this is a point, man. Why I can't? Okay, just a second. Uh, okay, so I need to select the prefab. So now I can start going ahead and moving this around, as you can see, and the vegetation starts appearing. And already this ending, you know, pretty, pretty cool, as you can see. And now, of course, you can add a bit more of variety of vegetation. And another thing that we can do is that things have you add more meshes on here. Uh, sorry about the calling here. Uh, basically, it will be overriding and the trees. So we add another mesh, it will not add like once in between. It will basically go on ahead and uh, replace some of the ones so it manages to put more points inside. But what we can do is go and get another splice sampler. Basically, copy and paste this, then get another transform points, put it over here, and then another static, static mesh spanner. But I'm gonna create a new one so it doesn't have the same values. We can go to uh, spline sampler and put this to be smaller, like 120. The transform points smaller 0.5 maybe and then in the mesh spawner i can add like small bushes over here so for example I can go into the ground cover and get this bush over here another one here and then uh, some ground cover maybe some like kind of grass and now if here you can see that it will start adding it now it's very small we might need to make this bit bigger actually so 0.5 and 0.7 here uh, this basically just playing around with the settings but you can see now we have like foliage in between maybe the grass is a bit small but you can play with that but yeah we're already getting with a pretty cool result maybe it's too much it's lagging a bit so we can just put it to be actually 200 maybe so yeah you can go ahead and start playing with this and this is just basics you can get so much in depth you can actually make a transition from the borders of the spine from a lower density into the center of the spline to have a higher density and therefore only display the big trees in the middle you know the point the dense is more the forest is more dense and so on there's so many things that you can do with this spline as you can see if we move it around it automatically goes ahead and changes it is so freaking cool so if you found this so helpful i would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 tutorials so if you want to check them out go ahead join my discord server link in the description you can talk with other devs ask questions show your progress in your games and so on and also go ahead and follow me on my socials twitter and instagram and now yes with all said bye bye